John 14 verse 6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus is the Father of truth. Jesus is the truth. This is what God wants in us. This is the only way to God. How have you been living your life? Have you been choosing lies over the truth? Have you been choosing the path of the devil? You might think the small joke which is full of lies you are telling is just to make people happy and so it is not a problem. I am not saying this to condemn you in any way, but is it worth it? There are different reasons why people tell lies. Do you tell lies because of fear? God can give you courage and you will have no reason to lie. Why tell lies and risk losing salvation? The Bible says in Proverbs 14 verse 12 that There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. The Bible also made it clear the end of everyone who tells lies. Revelation 21 verse 8 says that all liars shall have their path in the lake of fire. I am not saying this to scare you or to make you feel like God doesn't love you. God loves you, which is why he wants you to reject the family of the devil and come into the truth of Christ. The love God has for you is the reason why he wants you to stop lying and start saying things exactly the way they are. You might be wondering how you should stop lying. I must tell you, to stop lying is not something that can be achieved in a day or by oneself, but it is possible. What then are the steps to stop lying? Step 1. Decide that you want to stop lying. Everything we do in this life starts with a decision. It is not possible to get things done without concluding in your heart that you want to do that particular thing. You have to decide that you want to stop lying right now. It will lead you to nowhere but a place of destruction. Lies have destroyed so many relationships. It has destroyed dreams. It has destroyed the future. Gehazi was the servant of Elisha. He could have become a great prophet after Elisha, but the lies he told Naaman, who was healed of leprosy by Elisha, cost him his future. 2 Kings verse 5 You have to decide that you want to stop lying. God has given you the ability to make decisions. You have to choose between telling lies and saying the truth. Step 2. Ask for the Holy Spirit to come into your life. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. He is to teach us in the right way and help us through things that seem hard for us. If you are finding it hard to stop lying, ask the Holy Spirit to step in and help you. What is the Holy Spirit? He is the Spirit of Truth, the one who guides one in truth. John 16 verse 13 KJV Howbeit when he, the Spirit of Truth, is come, he will guide you in all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will shew you things to come. Step 3. Pray that God helps you. Prayer will always be one of the solutions to our problems. If you don't like the way you lie all the time, pray to God that he helps you. 
You might have decided to stop lying and have it in mind to accept Jesus, but it somehow becomes hard to do these things. The best thing for you to do at this moment is to pray to God to give you the strength to stop lying. The strength to call Jesus. God answers the prayer of forgiveness. He will forgive and help you. In society today, we are made to believe that telling lies is just a minor thing that needs not too much attention. The way we think is not the way God thinks. Isaiah 55 verse 8 KJV For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. You are saying that telling lies is not serious, but God is saying it is something really serious that can cause destruction. Why engage in it? God wants you to get into the light of Christ and leave this darkness that is covering the earth. The Children of the Devil on Earth John 8 verse 44 Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. The number one identity of the devil that we all know is telling lies. Of course, we were told of the mission of the devil on earth in the New Testament in John 10 verse 10. His mission is to kill, steal, and destroy. Have you ever wondered how he, the devil, is going to achieve all of these missions? He has no other way but through lies and deceit. He used this same method on Eve and it worked. The lie that he told in the beginning affected the world. That is to let you know the strength that every lie carries. In John 8 verse 44, Jesus was speaking to some set of people in this verse of the Bible. They claimed to be children of God. They believed one could just bear the title child of God without having the qualities of a child of God. Jesus had to make it clear to them what they are. He called them children of the devil because they were filled with the identity of their father, the devil. Biology tells us about genetics and traits. The genetic formation of the offspring can be from the parent some habits are transferred through genetics, and also some characters are through the genes of the parents passed to the parent. This is exactly what Jesus was telling the people. They were liars and the only one who has this identity is the devil. There are no shortcuts to this. There is no way to sweeten this. What Jesus was saying is clear. If you are a liar, you are of the devil. So many people in this world have turned lies to be a normal thing. Some will go to the extent of bearing false witness against someone. Telling lies has become part of human lives, but Jesus is saying it is not right. This is one of the most wonderful things about the Bible and our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible tells you how it is and doesn't hold. You don't have to be a liar. You gain nothing from it but adoption into the family of the devil. There are no excuses for telling lies. God hates it so much. Proverbs 6 verse 16 and 19 gave us the list of the things God hates. Verse 17 of Proverbs 6 says, A proud look and a lying tongue. 
Why do you think God hates lying tongue? Simply because it is the trait of the devil. Christians are fond of something we call white lies. It is a kind of lie told to save oneself or not to implicate another person. It is also called the necessary lie. Whatever name you call it, whatever description you give it, God did not give types of lies. He did not give categories of lies. He called everything lies. A lie will always be a lie. Do you tell lies but claim to be a child of God? That is not the trait of God. That is never the identity of God. You have to do all it takes to withdraw yourself from the family of the devil. You should not be part of the children of the devil. Don't allow lies to push you into the pit of life. God loves everyone. That is why Jesus died for everyone and not for some selected few. But at the same time, you can't keep doing what God hates. God gave us the type of people he would like to worship him. John 4 verse 27, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. God wants those that tell the truth, those that are in truth, and not those that tell lies. What is the truth? Truth is the opposite of a lie, and we know that the devil is the father of lies. 